Hello and welcome to game number... well, for us it's game number three. For Gus it is game number two. For MUFC it's game number one. Boom! So, uh, yeah, it is gonna be a, a round number, one, number two game for the uh, AGL. It is uh, the Asian Gaming League live from Kuala Lumpur. If you want to know more about that, you can go to facebook.com slash AsiaGL. Uh, the brackets are being shown in the chat often so you can check them out there and uh, we're gonna see MUFC taking on Go AM Suda or Gus in the best out of one for this matchup and we're gonna be seeing one of the teams these two teams prevailing of course I shall not lie MUFC on paper is gonna be the one that's gonna be taking this we have to accept that fact unless Gus can pull up an upset and that is going to be something that we are looking forward to because upsets are something normally spectacular. Something enjoyable. And even though I like MUFC as a team, I, I love them as a team, like I really do. I mean, who doesn't love upsets, right? Ten seconds remaining. So we're going to be seeing Keeper of Light getting banned out by MUFC with the uh, Dark Sea uh, banned out there remaining. as well. Uh, the uh, Mix Assassin and the Magnus are the banned outs for... Uh, for Go AM Suda, but that means that the Bed Rider indeed made it through. So MUFC is going to be having that one. Storm Spirit has a Phantom Lancer. Oh, wow. Dire team pick. Wow. Gus, they're in it. They're in this game for real. They pick up the Storm and the Phantom Lancer as the first two pickups. Now, Phantom Lancer, okay. Okay. You know. Picked up fairly early, but Storm! Lone Druid. They're not wasting any time. They know what they want to be doing. And this is going to be interesting. Like a team that has a plan Ten seconds is going to be most of the interesting t interesting things. If they really are continuing to speed pick like this, even though right now they're already not speed picking anymore. But they're going to be up against a Lone Druid and a Shadow Demon. Shadow Demon already considered a bit of a counter. Not really a counter, but still something strong against the Phantom Master. Because you can make illusions of his illusions and create your own illusion. Yeah, that can happen. Not too strong against the storm, though. I mean, yeah, disabling him is nice, but it is uh, you know you can't attack him while he's disrupted, so it's the, no real way to shut him down. You do have to entangle on the last two though to shut him down. In the meantime, uh, we see the Jakiro being picked up by uh, by Gaston. A Jakiro, fairly nice hero to have if you have a Shadow Demon on the map. Doesn't matter on which team it is in. If there's gonna be a Shadow Demon saving someone on your opposing team, you're gonna be able to lay down an ice path and make sure he doesn't get away afterwards. So a pretty nice one to have. Pretty a pretty nice support. So far, I don't think we're gonna see any surprises of on of uh, on Gus based on their lane storm mid Phantom Lancer on the safe lane together with the Jakiro. <coughs> And uh, we're gonna see them banning out a storm, uh, sorry, banning out a quap. Of course, they realize that invasion could still be looking for a mid hero, depending on where Bat Rider is gonna go. And Storm is just gonna make sure that he doesn't have any heroes that he doesn't want to face. Maybe a puck is gonna get banned out as well, or something like that. As we have a Rubik and a Brewmaster getting banned out by MUFC. Dire team ban. And they know that there's still support needed as well as uh, maybe even an off laner. Brewmaster could be doing that. With a silencer and a clockwork being banned out next. And these these draft is really going fast. No bonus time used just yet. And we're gonna be seeing MUFC taking the first pick again. I mean everything is open. Kinda. Depending on what their bed rider is gonna do, like a bed rider can go in the jungle, can go Ten on the mid lane, sack. can go on the uh, off lane, pick. and we still can't really say what they're gonna be doing with it. Dire We're gonna be seeing pick. on the Shrek picked up though. That's gonna be following up uh, with the split earth on the uh, disruption, so that's quite nice. At your and they pick up a wind runner there as well. Radiant We're gonna be seeing a disruptor pick. as a support picked up by by Gus, and that's gonna be helping them silence up anything basically. If they can lock people inside that kinetic field, it's going to be helping them out a lot. Of course, if you have, I mean, the team fight potential, it's not as huge as you know an RP would be or something like that. But you still have got yourselves a kinetic field, static storm, macro player, ice path, dual breath. That's a lot of damage going through if they catch out more than one target in that. 
We're gonna be seeing the Weaver as the last pickup. That's gonna be there offlane. And uh, we're gonna be jumping ourselves into the match. And I'm gonna be hoping that I'm gonna be knowing who is who and who is what. And I hope that I won't let you down in that. If, if I'm wrong with something, please let me know. Uh, sorry people, by the way. Uh, Winter just told me that Sharky is not playing today. So, no debut for, for Sharky today, unfortunately for you. And Ghost of Gamers news article is therefore invalid. But we are going to be jumping ourselves into the game as soon as the last heroes are picked up. Five seconds remaining. And that is going to be the dire side for MUFC. We're going to see Winter, the captain, going to be playing the Shadow Demon as support. We're going to see uh, two fucking good playing the Bat Rider for this game. It is Winter's minion that is actually Hunt Trash player. He is going to be the Winter Rider of this game. We're going to be seeing the uh, Lone Druid being played by FCFC. And then last but not least, it is Ling playing the Lashrak for his team. Then we have C on the dire side. The one that has the most uh, people voting for them, I would guess, for this matchup. We're gonna be seeing Gas, the underdogs. You're gonna be on the Radiant side for this match. We're gonna be seeing Kuroki. Oh, Kuroki. It is actually Kuroki. He is gonna be uh, playing the Jakiro for this match. We're gonna be seeing um, ABG Buck playing the Disruptor. Calling him Buck from now on, because it's nice. Uh, the Save Ven is gonna be playing the Phantom Lancer for his team this game. Adam Lar is gonna be playing the uh, Weaver. We're gonna call him Adam. And the uh, last one is gonna be uh, Barua. He's gonna be playing the Storm. And he's gonna be going into the mid lane most likely, depending on uh, what exactly they are gonna be doing. Because you see everybody just hanging around. We have got a pause. And a go as well. And yeah, this is, uh, of course, it's not Karoki, not Vikaroki. This is Karoki. He just, uh, you know, he is, uh, I love Karoki. That's his name. But I don't know what his actual name is, so hereby, he's being named after his idol, Karoki. There we go. So everybody of MUFC coming from the bottom lane. Looking for targets, can't really find them though. They already the left the forest as well, most of them anyways. But uh, everybody of uh, Gus being fairly safe. Hanging around for some uh, ward placements here. And maybe also the first rune if they're lucky. A storm indeed in the mid lane. We're gonna be having the uh, Phantom Lancer looking to be going on an aggressive trail lane with then the Weaver on the solo off lane. Solo, solo, safe lane actually. The battle begins. And is this going to be an aggressive trail in as well? With the wind runner, it could actually be turning into that. With the safe lane for the bear. And the bat rider in the mid. It is indeed. An aggressive trail in on the bottom lane. Weaver is going to be having a tough time. If the split earth is landing properly. Because that's basically the thing that can kill him right now. Disruption won't be too in doing too much to them. And he will be spamming. He'll be absolutely spamming his shikushi. To see if he can get away afterwards. If he can be invisible afterwards. Because he'll still get stunned. Like that will still be happening. And the thing is. Can he be invisible while being stunned? Because that would help him out a lot. But he is going to be on the, uh, on the off lane. Disruption is there. There's no uh, split earth though. Ling is not around. The Shikushi being used. And uh, the sentry board actually got placed in range of the tower. Denied. Well. That is a fast 100 gold wasted on MUFC. Quite awkward engagement, to be fair. That's something that we're used to seeing from MUFC. I mean, Ling is in the jungle. He is actually jungling with his uh, enemy creeps. <laughs> so he is being for. I mean, if he doesn't take the last hits, it's of course not going to be good. But it is going to be nice to force uh, to force Adam to take last hits under his tower. Basically uh, hurting him a bit based on how many lasses he can get, as well as him taking harassment from the creeps that are coming towards him. In the meantime, we have got uh, Barua up against uh, too fucking good. He is doing okay. Four for three. 
five for three, five for four, with Storm being on three for two. So it is indeed in favor of the bat so far. The aggressive channel on the top lane is going to have a tough time because the lone druid is not an easy target to get himself shut down. So even though well, there's two aggressive trial lanes, I'm thinking it's going to be going Dyer's in favor of MUFC because attack. that weaver is taking a lot more harassment than uh, than the lone druid is. There might be a tower going down already on the side of um, MUFC on the top lane though. That's something Radiant's that they can definitely do there. Is under attack. For now they just harassed him away. And Ling, maybe looking for something. Just want to force them out. Middle tower tower might attack. also be going down the bottom lane. Split Earth actually misses. We don't have Edict yet on Ling. Radiance bottom so tower no extra push. Attack. And it looks like they just want to have the creep wave continuously going for this. Unless they want to take the entire creep wave with them too. Yeah, they do. And this is going to be a lane that's going to be starting to push quite heavily. It's gonna be bad news for the Weaver because he can't get himself into close anymore in experience range without putting himself in danger. We're gonna be seeing how that's gonna go. Storm Spirit and Meteor level 4, level 4 also on the path. Both of these, when they're level 6, we can see some action from them. We can expect some movements. And hopefully for, for us, also some kills. 3 minutes in, no kills yet, no surprise though. Should put heroes up against that uh, aggressive trail lane that you know that can survive. Shackle though, latches, weaver, trouble. Here comes the rest of the support. Shikushi is on cooldown for another second. Disruption is gonna be first. Centerward goes down. Sugar is gonna follow up, and that's gonna be the first blood. We're going down. First blood. Windrunner gets there first. And Huntrash player is gonna be able to pick it up. So he is gonna be getting the gold for that. And he was already Dyer's doing okay on the top farm. He was 11 for attack. four. Keeping on par with the solo mid of uh, of Gas here. He's now 13 for 4 actually, just got pulled ahead, but as does the Windrunner. With the Bat Rider sitting on 13 for 4 as well. Wow, this is very even. And the only one that's actually pulling ahead is actually the Phantom Lancer, who is going to be on the aggressive trial and happily farming. Not getting stopped whatsoever. Lone Druid not getting as much experience as he would like. His bear is going to be in some trouble as well. A Shadow Demon picks up the Storm Spirit in the mid lane. The rotation came out from MMFC with the two supports. And that's gonna be a quick kill for them. Gonna be getting the advantage for uh, too fucking good. Of course, also killing off Storm before he's level 6. That is indeed pretty huge. In the meantime, we see the Phantom Lancer 17 to 5. I mean, he is, he is still... I mean, we saw this in the previous game also. It was, wait a second. They're gonna be going for Baru again. He gets a Vortex, though. The TP supports are gonna come in. Kinetic Field trying to help out, but it's gonna be the Storm that still goes down. Maybe they can try to get something on the back of this if the Bad Rider goes back to the low ground again and Abe is actually gonna get caught out, but he is not gonna get caught out at all. And there's no uh, glimpse back either. Wouldn't have, uh, wouldn't have been ma mattering that much. So another kill going happening on the middle lane. And that was a glimpse, but a bit of an awkward one because I didn't see it doing that much. Split Earth is gonna miss. In the meantime, Weaver being left alone, he's still hanging around a sentry ward though. It's not gonna be easy for him, especially not with Hunt Trash player just last hitting him down and almost getting a kill upon him even. If that power shot would have hit, his level 3 power shot could have been doing the job. But nice dodge. Denied! Why should I say not? Why would I not say TFG's full name? I can call him TFG, but it's it's awkward. Like TFG is not really a rolling name, and too fucking good is actually more rolling than TFG. If you know what I mean, I think you do. Storm still level five. Gonna have some support hanging attack. around here now as Windrunner takes down a Weaver still with a bit of help. A Shrek helping out. Ice Path not locking in uh, TFG. Four attacks, but they can't go on it. Not with the lasso up there, and he actually is gonna go for this. Four stacks of sticky napalm down to the low run. Five stacks. Ice Path doesn't do anything when there are so many flames on the floor. She likes fruit. And that is gonna be another kill going away of MUFC, who's now 0-5 in favor of them. Lone Druid not dying on the top lane. I mean, he didn't get that much farm. Granted, I mean that's no no uh, no surprise. But it, he also is not getting uh, any deaths, and uh, you know you have an aggressive trailing. 
You kind of want to try to kill off your heroes that you're up against, but can't do that. Phantom Lancer, though, doing really well for himself. The downside is that MUFC will be ready to fight earlier than that Phantom Lancer is. And we're going to be having to see if Gas is actually ready to fight when that time comes. MUFC keeping uh, keeping the control so far over the bottom lane, at least. Is we see a uh, Hontrash player sitting on 37 for 13. When he's up against uh, Adam, who is sitting on 12 for 1. Level 5 though, almost gonna be a bit more ballsy if he gets himself the uh, time lapse, but first he's gonna have to deal with Ling being back here as well. Another sentry ward goes down. So if Weaver comes too close, he's gonna get shackled and hexed. Well, not sha well, he's gonna get shackled already. He's gonna get split earth already, and that is gonna be lightning power shot doing the job. Another sentry ward going down, I don't even think it was needed. Not with that shackle being there. Level 2 shackle, definitely showing. In the meantime, the bear still alive here on the top lane. He's uh, gonna be uh, not getting resummoned though if he dies. It's gonna be off for 100 seconds, quite a lot. A storm got himself as level 6, but is still now behind Radiance two levels up on the bad rider that he was up against in the mid lane. Radiant structures are fortified. Gonna be seeing the gold grab going towards the 4k in favor of MUFC. Without having to take in any towers and 6 kills, I mean, yeah it's nice, but it's not 4k difference in gold. Radiance so this is all just farm, and we see that back. The top four has got Radiance three heroes of MUFC in there, with only the Phantom Lancer able to keep up. And even he is not ahead on the Windrunner. And Windrunner also has got three kills. So uh, yeah, that's kind of painful. We're gonna see a ball lightning in though. Vortex is gonna be happening there as well. But here comes Ling, go for Flit Earth. It's up to lightning, goes through. It is gonna be Adam that goes down. And it's gonna be Storm that should be ball lighting himself away soon, unless he, his help from his team is gonna be there in time. Thinking about taking out Ling, he gets glimpsed on the other side of the kinetic field. Still lands a split earth. He's gonna be able to get himself away. I think just like the Windrunner, there's still some mana up on the throne, so has got a vortex as well. Can't get it done. Not enough range. Maybe now he can. There he goes. Long range. Ice path helping out. But he can't get it done. Not enough damage. Lightning will pick him up. Lashrak picks up the kill. And here comes the bat, looking for a last suit. Not even needed, but I think he's gonna go for it anyway. Never mind. He is not gonna go for that. That's another kill going the way of one trash player. And that is gonna be 9 to 0. With a buyback icon standing in the way of, uh, in, of Jakiro, but uh, that is actually just a bug because he never bought back. He doesn't have enough money to buy back, so just so you are aware of that being a bug, that's fine. Meantime on the top lane, looking to try and take down Lone Druid. They might actually do this right now. They are trying to. They have got a ice pass to help out. That's gonna be a kill. There we go. <laughs> I was gonna say, he did use his self, but that ice pad kind of ticked it off straight afterwards again. You almost didn't see it. I didn't see it. I only saw the self disappearing from Radiant's his inventory. But that's the first kill attack. that Gas takes down. They're still having to deal with a lot of farm here on the farm of MUFC, though. I mean, if you check out the net worth, you see it on the sidelines. It's Radiance bottom tower is under attack. It's an uphill battle. Again, see a pattern. See a pattern. <laughs> A nice power shot as a Huntress player is going to be trying to shut down the only hero that's been able to get some solid farm for his team. It's going to be the Phantom Lancer. Now let's see if he's going to be having some support uh, incoming as well. The Lone Druid is back on top. They just want to try to take down the tower. Perhaps more heroes are rotating to the top lane as well. As uh, we do see uh, Bedrider going there. Has got his last two up. Actually, he, walk he walks back mid. Maybe he can try to do something to the Reaver. Power shot, Shackle. Kinetic Field trying to help out. Is it going to be enough? Locks in the bear. Glimpse back on the master of the bear. But it's actually going to be the Gas that stays alive. Entangled. Jagiro. He is going to be in trouble. Power shot. One more hit needed. Boom. You're dead. Lashrak coming in from the side with the lightning. Dude's now on. Split Earth hits up on the shrap. So that's going to be another kill going the way of MUFC. This one's going through the Lone Druid. And it's uh, 1 to 11 in favor of MUFC who now take down a tier 1 tower once more. And they're gonna just be continuing on with the push. They don't really need to stop. Batrider is uh, still farming middle, still wants to have his blink dagger up, of course. Not that he is not getting kills without it, just that he wants to have Radiance it. Top tower Weaver coming mid attack. though. Gonna still try to get some uh, some of his farm going. Radiance top tower. Batrider blink dagger ready with the tower going down on the top lane. 
That's Gas coming in towards the mid lane with the smoke up. Really want to try to take down the bad rider. Bad's level 9 though. He's not an easy target to take down. Especially not when there's going to be 3 supports coming in for him. Who is going to rotate and glimpse back into the kinetic field. Ice path misses actually. Jackal latches both the Jakiro and the Disruptor together. Jakiro already going down. Disruptor will follow suit. And that is going to be Hontrash getting a double kill. 1700 gold in his inventory. Already got himself a 4 staff. 7 to 0 to 3. He's been in 10 out of the 13 kills. And he is going to go for a silencer stick. When you link in, Lasso. Adam Soul Catcher Splitters. The kill. Winter picking up the kill. Demonic Purge, maybe. Yeah, up on the Shakiro. In some trouble. It's visible. Completely visible. And we'll be going down as well. There we go. TMG picking up the kill. And that is going to be 15 to 1 with this game. Going from bad to worse, and from worse to uh, Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Something more. Orchid, it's a silent stick. You have a sheep stick and a silent stick. Going for orchid. But this is um, you know, I mean, the previous game we saw Orange taking on uh, a team that was uh, the underdog, and they won very convincingly. And now we see the same thing from AFC. And at this time, it's all just building towards uh, who is gonna be uh, well when the final building towards the finals, which should be in theory. MUFC taking on Orange, depending on how it goes, because I I still have my hopes up. Like no, like I said, it's not like I don't like MUFC or Orange. I just am a sucker for upsets, and they can create the the best games, and that's also I mean it's best out of one. So the. Oh, actually, Windrunner, he's actually gonna go, to go down. Nice job. Nice job. They might be able to get more Link. Travel, Lance is hitting. Steve Charge is trying to help out. Ice Bath again. And that's gonna be a gem of True Side going down. Weaver is gonna be happy with that one. As uh, actually, they they destroy it. They destroy it. bottom tower is under attack. Thinking they die too fast, they wanna be giving it away again when they die? Perhaps? Radiant structures are fortified. Meantime, Tier Tower gonna go down. Radiant the bear. I mean, he doesn't have Radiant's an exceptional amounts of farm because fallen. you know he was up against an aggressive tri lane, but he is not doing bad either. He's got 24 on the gold, 25 already. And for gas, what they th what they need to be doing to to get themselves keep themselves in the game is they need to have their phantom lands of farming. That's for sure. He is gonna go for desolate for diffusal blade. Gonna be having that almost complete. And then they need to try and pick off heroes that are by themselves on the map, which seems to be pretty duff, damn tough because the MUFC is <laughs> together for, uh, for oh, very often anyways, even though we now see Windrunner by yourself again. They are going to go for a Roshan actually, MUFC having the Medallion of Courage can take that Roshan down fairly fast. As we see the rest of Gaz is just being forced to stand inside their base right now because they don't know where their opponents are and they can't really go out because they might die. Oh, upper sound for me. Uh, yeah, there's one word up for uh, gas, so they can see a bit of the uh, of their of the ancient spot and the well, in the ruined spot. But other than that, they've got no vision. So if I just said they need to pick up heroes, like one by one. They need to have more vision for that. And of course, they I mean, they had to to be up against a gem just a moment ago. And that's gonna be another counter war. So I mean, UFC knows what Gas needs to do to get back into this game, and they're gonna make sure it doesn't happen because they, they, you know, they're just gonna go for the map control. They're gonna be taking it completely. They're gonna be shutting Gas down by vision, by farm, by towers, by control. Ice path, not locking in anybody. Edict helping out taking the tower a bit lower. We still have four heroes hanging around here from the back end of things. We might see uh, Barua going in, actually. Lincoln, Lasso, Adam, trouble. Here they come up the high ground. The split earth actually misses. A bit miscommunication allows for a time lapse to happen. Ball lightning in. Oh, oh, storm. Trouble for him. He's now completely out of mana, well, almost anyway. And we'll be having to force back to base as well. There's gonna be a tower going down. Radiance middle tower. TFG still picks it up. MUFC looking to go up to the high ground. They have gotten ages. They can't do this. Mm -hmm. 
Nice path, takes up on Ling. He does have a level 3 edict that he can use again to try and take this tower down. And there's no backdoor protection because the bear is there. We oh, actually went in earlier already. We have a, a vortex up. Disruptor still goes down on the back side of things. The bat rider just uh, picked him up on the sidelines. That was where he was. Lance is hit left and right. Tower. We're gonna be dropping. No deny. And MUFC just gonna go barrel down the barracks. They can't do this. They like they don't have to worry about anything right now. Shackle. Gonna latch. Link dagger and four staff up on the bat. Kinetic field still doing okay. There's gonna be the disruptor that will go down though. He's actually not level six just yet, so he doesn't even have the static storm. But I said we'll make a good combination with everything that Jakiro has. As we have got just everybody dying once again. Power shuttle finish off the main carry of Gus, and this is the last one alive for for uh, for Gus, and now he's dead as well. And that should actually be GG. As MUFC, they did lose their little track, but they didn't get forced out in, at all. And Batrider just gets himself a disruptor just inside the base. Aegis gets popped for it though. With a uh, Huntress player diving a bit too far inside the enemy's base, forced himself out a bit too late. Dyer's and then we have C rotating towards the top lane. Radiant's gonna take down that tier one, tier three tower. Looks like we're gonna see one last final dying breath. Ball lining in, Vortex up on Winter. Might be able to do something. Dual breath trying to help out. Silence is already up on the storm though. He can't go anywhere. Gets entangled as well. Goes down. Bad Rider looking for something. Gets a uh, disrupt. Well. And the fusal charge up on him, going for the disruptor again. One more hit needed, not gonna get it this time. As we see him force stopping himself into safety, blinks away. Back into safety, last is hit left and right. As uh, we still see the Phantom Lines are trying to do something. He is being forced back again though. As of course we still have the bed hanging around. Has got another blink again as well. He's got a lasso as well. Nice shackle, power shot, we'll follow up on that one. The silence up on the Jagiro. Time lapse still happens though. And that's gonna be the Jakiro still going down. Disruptor is gonna be following. Double kill for Huntress player. We see that Adam is gonna be able to get himself away on 35 HP, but yeah, the rest not so lucky. Still the Phantom, or the Bat Rider dies, but uh, oh, Windrunner might actually die as well. Six judges being uh, used. Silence is there. The last two, the Shackle, the Power Shot, everything. And that is gonna be only Phantom Lancer left alive for his team. I mean, they didn't get the Rex yet in the top lane, but I think it's only Radiant a matter of time. Are fortified. Fortification now finally goes off. And that's gonna be uh, Galim's back for the Windrunner. Four staffs herself forward. Use those charge there, but it looks like it's gonna be just fine. Shackled on the Lash. Actually, no, he's not gonna be fine. Another Lance, and that's gonna be a kill. Kill his speed for the Phantom Lancer. In the meantime, MUFC is gonna be finally trying to take him down, though. They need one more hit on the Rex. They don't seem to care. Now they do, but they also get the kill for the Phantom Lancer who fires back. But uh, this last dying breath is taking quite a long time for guests, I have to say. They still lose their racks though. Ball lighting in, let's see what they can do. Vortex up on too fucking good as well. And they are gonna be able to pick him up if they're... Yeah, they are indeed. With the lone druid TPing himself out. In the meantime on the bottom lane, and there's still Link that's just pushing here. He's got himself Edict, he's got himself half of the melee racks down. And he might actually be able to pop another Edict to just uh, take down the rest of the racks as well. Because the rest of Gas doesn't seem to be too worried. They're just fighting heroes here. Because there's two hanging around here and they're just keeping them busy. And he is going to make sure there's going to be um, Mega Creeps for his team. He still has an Edict, doesn't even need it. Mega Creeps are there. And then it's going to be um, at least... Huntress player giving his life for um, Rex. They do pick up Link still, but what are they gonna do now? Like, they don't have any towers down for themselves. This is over. This is just as good as over. 20 minute mega creeps indeed, as the chat points out. Go next. This is only a best out of one, though. Only a best out of one. MUFT looking to go to the next round of the Asian League. The Asian Gaming League, that is, and we are gonna be seeing who they're gonna be up against next. I think we're gonna have a game of orange next though. If you wanna check out the brackets or check out more information uh, about this well tournament, well. you can do so on facebook.com slash Asia GL. And then uh, you can also check out uh, AGL.com even though I think it's still on the construction so you might not see that much just yet. And of course the Moobot is there with the uh, 
topic information having the bracket so if you type exclamation mark topic you will be able to see the brackets for this lead. Uh, with the schedule being that today is going to be every, everything that's going to be played today until there are 16 teams left and then tomorrow there's going to be a double elimination bracket of 16 teams with only yet uh, one being victorious in the end Let's see what we can have up, up next. If it's gonna be MUFC or if it's gonna be Orange, don't go anywhere regardless. We're gonna be, um, we're gonna be having another game coming up. By the way, if you wanna support me, of course, check out my website, shivergaming.com, where you can find uh, all the matches of today and tomorrow, as well as all the VODs, spoiler free, of all the matches of all the players, of all the casters, of all the games, all the VODs, everything. So check that out. And of course, follow me on twitter.com slash shivergaming. Yay. We are back anyway. Don't go anywhere.